Today I bought a massive box of sealed product. What's up guys, we're back with another video and we are opening up this massive box of sealed product. We're gonna see what I bought. I can't even really remember. It was from a viewer. He hit me up and he said, hey, I have a bunch of sealed product for sale. Would you be interested? And I was like, yeah, we worked out a deal, got all this awesome stuff coming in. So we're gonna be opening up most of this on the channel. We're gonna open up the box and see what we're gonna be seeing in the future. But first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three first edition old school cards, Invader of the Throw, Limited Removal, and Last Turn. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know your favorite sealed product from this video. Let me know what kind of combinations of the sealed product you would like to see for videos let's get into it all right first off we have the yugi's collector box which is going to be very difficult to show right now and the kaiba collector box might have to pick this up so you guys can see this a little better but full size box this is one of the first things i bought when i got back into Yu-Gi-Oh. so these are really cool we're definitely going to be doing a yugi versus kaiba box like battle at some point so look forward to that we're going to be opening up all these there's duelist pack kaiba and yugi in there and then some ultimate rares and stuff like that so this is going to be really exciting and a fun opening because it's going to be nostalgic for me like back in 2018 when i got back into this and started this whole youtube thing all right so there was a case of ghosts from the past one in here and that was like it and i was like wait there was more than this and then i realized this is not a sealed case this is actually just a box from Ghost from the Past 1 that has the rest of the stuff in it. So, I almost got tricked there. All right, then we have some Dragon's Legend The Complete Series. We have Legendary Duelist Season 2. So, those are probably not the best products ever, but they do have cool dice in there. Then we have three special editions of Abyss Rising, which is actually a pretty cool set. And I don't think I've ever opened the special edition from this set other than the every special edition opening. Go check that out if you guys have not seen that. We opened every single special edition ever made, which was pretty cool. Then we have a 2020 10 of Lost Memories, which is like a throwback at this point, three years ago that we had this. Can you believe it's been three years since the 2020 10s? I mean, they still look just like the 2022 10s because they keep using the same thing with like a little bit different artwork. So interesting. Then we've got a really cool one, Duel saga which has the weird ultra rare you know new technology or whatever they call it does it say it on here somewhere the new ultra rare technology or something like that yeah here it is 100 cards with the all new ultra rare technology which is honestly pretty ugly but really cool set because there's a lot of great reprints in here so that's gonna be fun to open at some point then we have a couple of older tins we have the galaxy eyes photon dragon tin i don't know what year this was was it 20 13 2012 something like that i don't really know which is really cool then we have the black wing dragon tin which we actually opened this up kind of recently which is pretty cool so we might actually be opening this up soon you know in a different video against another tin in the future or something like that then we have an interesting one we have tomb chaos this is unlimited notice how this box like is an appropriately sized box i just noticed that they did this if you remember first edition toon chaos which we have one right here they put them in really small boxes it didn't really fit so they actually updated that for the unlimited look at this i've never actually noticed this until now look how much bigger the toon chaos box is for the unlimited it's insane so clearly they i don't know how they missed this much like on how big it is like how do you not know how big the packs are it's kind of insane but first edition to chaos right there which is an amazing set then we have a duelist pack dimensional guardians box which is pretty bad but it's cool then we have a legendary duelist immortal destiny which is also very cool pretty expensive box even though all the cards have been reprinted so inside not really worth opening because inside not a lot of value then we have a magical hero box kind of same thing but this is also first edition which is really cool so first edition magical hero I feel like they made an unlimited of that. They did, right? I think so. I think it was one of the last unlimited sets they printed. Then we have a pretty nice one, a first edition Galactic Overlord booster box. So this is like, I mean, this is a pretty old box at this point, probably like around 10 years old. Pretty awesome. I actually have an unlimited of this, not a first edition. So that's very sick to actually add. Then we have something really epic, a blue eyes, white dragon tin. It's got a little bit of scratching on it. You know, we'll probably open at some point. It's got a little sticker, you know, residue. It looks like somebody took the sticker off, but then there's another sticker there. So must've been multiple stickers on this thing pretty nice tin we're definitely going to be opening this at some point blue eyes white dragon kaiba really amazing and then there's a couple more things four boxes of ghosts from the past one so we at this point we're running out of room so it's very close but ghosts from the past one we have four mini boxes of that so a lot of amazing stuff in this purchase so it's pretty exciting i think we're going to open up something real quick i'm going to decide in just a second all right i decided we're going to open up the duelist saga and two abyss rising i think those are appropriate amount of packs there also some pretty good potential let's start with abyss rising i think this is like 
2012 2011 area so there's some pretty old stuff we could pull i don't remember what the promos are in here because i don't really remember opening this besides the one time in the every special edition opening so could be a cool promo it looks like a trap card is it two or one promo one of two variant cards so there's two different ones we got the dark smog i do not remember that card at all that's a super rare then we have three abyss rising unlimited packs there are ghost rares and ultimate rares in this set there's secret rares there's all kinds of stuff so let's see if we can pull something good one two three four maybe three let's do that we got the Solar Wind Jammer, Snow Dust Dragon, we got the Rage of the Deep Sea, Bull Blader, Electromagnetic Bagworm, the Mog Mole, very nice, Abyss Warrior from the Abyss Rising, nice, Snow Dust Giant, and a Deep Sweeper. So I don't know if it comes before or after the rare. I feel like it comes before the rare, but I don't really know for sure. So I'm not going to, you know, gamble and guess and get it wrong and then, you know. Put it right to the front and ruin a ghost rare pull or something like that <laughs> which would still be pretty epic it wouldn't really ruin it but one two three i feel like it's like this four and then you swap these two that's what i feel like it is but i'm gonna do this just to be safe and then go like that just so if i am wrong it's not too bad we have a nimble angler we've got the final gesture the snow dust dragon snow dragon so snow dust and snow dragon abyss scale of the kraken heroic advance memory oh i did mess it up memory of the adversary so we have a super rare memory of the adversary that i did mess it up but i i would have put it to the front but i didn't quite mess up that bad third pack of this rising we do have another one of these special editions and then we have the duel saga as well which is gonna be pretty cool to open what can we pull one two three so it looks like it was right here i'm just gonna do this cash back nice heraldic beast burners falcon we got the heroic gift we have the Ape Magician, Different Dimension Deep Sea Trench, Stoic of Prophecy, Medulce Ticket, Spellbook of Eternity, and a Hermit of Prophecy, just a regular old common. That's okay, because we're going to try Duelist Saga, three packs inside, new cards from every TV show. Pretty cool idea, actually. Yeah, every TV show. This is going to be pretty exciting. I can't wait to see my Breaking Bad cards and my uh, Game of Thrones cards. I, they're in here, because it's every TV show. Every single TV show, we will actually have cards in Duelist Saga, which is pretty nice. All right, three packs. Let's go Duelist Saga first edition. Let's see what we can pull. We have, okay, right off the bat, an honest, very nice card. Some of these are worth a decent amount of money. Imperial Order, the Bro Hunter. I don't know the most expensive card in here. Light Wind Shield and Full Armored Crystal Zero Lancer. Okay, that's probably not a great pack. Two packs to go. I know there's like... A few cards that are around the 20s in this set that we can grab, so that's pretty nice reprints. The MX Saber Invoker, very nice, even though this is a very old set. Oh, Deep Sea Diva, another decent one. Harpy's Featherstorm, very good. Was insane for a while. I don't know if it still is insane, but I think it's pretty good. White Veil, and Gozuki for them zombie decks. That's actually pretty decent. All right, we'll take that. Third pack, can we get the Blue Eyes White Dragon out of here? I don't think I've ever pulled it. Uh, Magician of Faith, okay, that's a cool reprint. Black Rose Dragon. Black Rose Dragon. Full Armored Crystal Zero Lancer. Nice. Chain Summon. And we got a Bro Hunter again. We got two of this, dude. We've got two of them. All right. Final part of the opening. Best Rising Special Edition. Let me know what you're looking most forward to out of the stuff we grabbed. I'm guessing the Blue Eyes 10 is going to get a lot of votes because that's going to be a lot of fun to open. But very cool product. Here we go. Let's see what our promo is. We got the Gaga -ga -ga Girl. All right. So there's our other promo. We have three packs to go, Abyss Rising. Can we get something cool? Ultimate or Ghost? There's a lot of good cards in this set, so let's just pull one of them. One, two, three. Will it be something good? We got the Lumoria, the Forgotten City, Merbale Abyss Lung, One Shot Wand, Abyss Scale of the Kraken, Heroic Advance, Megacy Dragon Plesion, Mermail Abyss Hilde, Umi Tauros, and a, oh, an Ultimate Rare Empress of Prophecy. We will take that all day, every day. Ultimate rare, Empress of Prophecy. Unlimited, but we'll still take it. Definitely really cool. And Xyz 5, very, very cool. All right, that is sick, an ultimate rare. I'm taking that out of two special editions. That is super sick. Let's see if we can pull something else really cool. What can we get? Can we get the Ghost Dragon, Grand Dram? We got the Heroic Challenger, Night Watchman, Deep Sweeper. It's like one of those things you little things you put on your floor to like vacuum up constantly. You know what I'm talking about? Soga Prophecy, Medulce Ticket. Bull Blader, Electromagnetic Bagworm, Abyss Storm, Strom, I should say, and, ooh, a Heraldic Beast, Burner's Falcon, added again, that is not a foil, I thought it was for a second, final pack of the opening, 
you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. There's the Cruffasan or whatever you say. I don't know how to say it. Fishborg Lancer, very cool. Unification, beautiful. Heroic Challenger Night Watchman. We've got the Medulce Cruffsant. Cruffsant. Battle Break. Planet Pathfinder, all right, classic. Snow Dragon, where's the Snow Dust? Popcorn, one of my absolute favorite cards from Duel Links back in the day because I had a sweet Popcorn deck. Probably not good anymore, but it was fun back then. And Madolce Marmalade, some more Madolce stuff. Very cool, very nice. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed the content for more upcoming. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, Melancholy, and then his high show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Stanley, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.